Carrie James Marshall is from Birmingham, Alabama, but later on had a studio in Chicago where he created most of his artwork. He was born on the 17th of October 1955, went to Otis College of Art and Design. Then in 1997, he won the Genius Grant Award. Being born in a time and place where racism and segregation was normalized, Marshall felt obliged to bring justice to his community through his art. In the very same year that he was born, Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat to a white person on a bus in Montgomery, Alabama. As well as that, it was also the same year that Emmett Till was murdered. Marshall's goals as an artist was to be free and to not abandon his black heritage and identity to become an artist. He never saw any black mastery and didn't want to be hindered by the absence of black figures in art. Now on to the painting. We think that in this painting, Marshall is trying to portray his political message. We think that it could represent the way that the black community can be artists and can be represented in paintings too. In the painting, a primary color dominant palette was used. The choice of colors is effective in guiding our line of vision to different areas of the painting. Another way he does this is by using high contrasting colors and linear lines. Visually, it's very energizing to the eye. The positions of the people makes it look as if the painting was done mid-action. 